Inside the last 18 minutes of the Sportsmax Zone for this week starting Monday and uh, we're going to talk now about the First Citizens Sports Foundation uh, Awards in Trinidad and Tobago Saturday and uh, this was live on Sportsmax. Top honours going to cyclist Nicholas Paul winning the Senior Sports Man of the Year honour while sprinter Michelle Leah Yee copped the Senior Sportswoman of the Year title. Meanwhile the top youth athletes were for 2023 swimmer Nicola Blackman and uh, that's on the boys' side, and track and fields, Janae DeGans for the girls, an outstanding long jumper who also sprints as well. So I don't think, Mariah and Ricardo, that Nicholas Paul's um, being given the Sportsman of the Year honor was a surprise, given no. his world rank at the moment as a, a top track cyclist, but maybe the, the women's honor was a little bit more competitive and up for grabs. Yeah, for sure. Nicholas Paul, without a doubt, is well deserving of that title. And of course, you know, he got the award. I just want to speak about, before we, we delve into the Michelle Lee Aye, um aspect of her Sportswoman of the Year award, just the event on the whole. Because Lance, I think it was a, a really well put on event, of course, glamorous. Um, we spoke to one of the persons belonging to the foundation last week, Friday. And of course, this, this award has been in existence for quite some time. So of course, the quality, top class quality, there was a sports minister present, a lot of um, prestigious sportsmen and women. It was well attended. So of course, a really, really top class event. So I have to say, you know, it's nothing new. It's, it's always been, a glamorous event and of course it lived up to what we expected look ryan beat you there from cnc3 um speaking a short while ago the michelle lee Aie award i can understand why people felt as if you know um she that award may have been a bit contentious because of the fact that you know what did she win last last year just the pan american bronze 100 pan and bronze right yeah. Um, but then, you know, people will ask the question, what about the other women that were nominated? Is there anybody, Ricardo, in your estimation, you feel as if had an edge? Well, it's difficult to say, right? And it comes down to, to criteria. Um, yes. And from what, I, from what I see is that clearly the Pan American Games um, was looked at as one of the top events of 2023 and so it seems to me that those who did well at that event um were 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 were, were duly recognized in that way i want to make the point though that i completely agree with mariah in terms of uh, how um the the how, how the ceremony was was put together i thought it was absolutely fantastic and i think that any athlete who got an award um, on, on the night must have felt like it was something special because um, the entire presentation had that feel about it like, yes, I, I really deserve, um, this is something really great. Um, yeah, man, it was, it was fantastic. It was a great watch. And I think the look and feel of it was just wonderful. So you really have to give um, credit to First Citizens for putting on what I thought was an awesome event. Um, outside of that, Janae DeGanzu won the Junior Sportswoman of the Year Award, Lance. Um, very impressed with her. Um, yes. You pointed out, young long jumper, had a wonderful year last year. And I can't wait to see what she delivers at the Carifta Games this year. She is part of the Trinidad and Tobago Under-20 team. She is listed for the Under-20 girls long jump. I suspect she will be part of their 4x100 team in Grenada as well. So I look forward to that. And Nikolai Black. Yes. Um, who won the junior award on the male side has been doing extremely well in the pool for a number of years now last year though he won the world he won a world junior title which was a massive feat and that came on the back of three commonwealth youth titles so he had a sensational year and i don't think there was any doubt that he would be the winner of that category either yeah yeah and um he 
It's a repeat winner of that award as well. Yeah, he's, he's won a, it four times, he's which, which as I said, he's, he's been college. doing well for a few years. Yeah, 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 at college in the United States at the moment. So yeah. um, Mark Mungo of the um, First Citizens Foundation spoke to us live on the show on Friday, and he did suggest that uh, with uh, so many years behind them, 61 years now, it started back in 1962, they have the know-how. So yeah. I'm just saying that to um, illustrate your point about how well put together the function was, yeah. that it's sort of par for the course for them now because... Uh, you know, it's 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 their business to look good. Yeah. One thing I, I would ask, though, because uh, let's notice that Nicholas Paul wasn't present because he's away competing. Michelle Liaie was not present either. Nikolai Blackman was not present either. Um, and I wonder if there's a, another time period on the calendar that so the, the award could be held where there is a greater possibility that yes. those winning yeah. um, would be there. I know um, Paul's parents collected his award. Michelle mm. Lee Ayi's mom yes. was there to collect her award. But I thought it would have been really great mm -hmm. um, if the athletes themselves mm. Um, you know, could, could themselves could have yeah. um, collected that award because and it was really a beautiful ceremony. Yeah, and I think that point is even more potent because it is happening so late in the year in March. Yes. Because, you know, I would, I would hope, stroke, suggest that, you know, January would Maybe have early been... early January. Yeah, early January, <laughs> you know, so, yeah. and, and that might give the, a, a more of an opportunity for some of the key players yeah. to, be, to be present. Yeah. We'll be back with more on the Sports Night Zone after this.